Yeah, you follow that. No, let me let, let me make make a point now. Let me let me make this point and then you will see. Essentially, the con the context is you are in a nation, a Jewish nation, and the people group we are talking about are the Jews. In the Jewish culture, there are certain requirements, legal requirements. You blaspheme against God, but certain things would happen to you. Yeah. Dictated by the Mosaic law, which has been around for a couple of thousand years until that point in time. So that's the context we are dealing with. So you are right in. Let, let, how do I put um, Let me. I, I can think of an ideal example, but I'd like to avoid that specific example. But the point is, you are in the you are in the middle of a place where if you say something, you'd be held to account. Yeah, you'd be stoned to death, you'd be killed, chopped, whatever. You are right there. And from there, you are essentially recording certain things. That's the context. You see, if you see what I mean. Jewish context claims about a man who claimed himself to be God, claiming, he didn't say I'm God claiming, at all. he never claimed it. He said he was Where listening. He I don't know what you God. said, but the point is, I like the lady man. Let him talk. Where he claimed he's God? Okay, cool. Thank you. So, can, <laughs> Can I uh, please speak to you later, if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah. Or some other context. Are you, will you be here later? Or um, are you visiting London or? No. Uh, no. Nobody will be here. Well, well, Maybe some other time if you're here. Yep. Let, let him finish, brother. Let him finish. No, no, I'm fine, thank you. You know, Eli, he's giving you time, brother. Go. No, There's thank it. you, thank you. I don't yeah, want your company in the present minute. Have you, have you said Jesus claimed to be God or not? I don't know. So, he didn't claim to be God. Go for it. Are you to prove anything, sir? No. You made a statement, though. God willing, speak to you later. Yeah. When, when you make statements, God willing, God willing, next week, God willing. Yeah. When you speak make you statements, later. you must make statements which are which are true to the text. That you, you're absolutely right. When when people make statements. We should witness No, no, no. You should have let I believe the truth. I speak the truth. Yeah, but it doesn't matter where I'm sitting. Some are wrong. He says Jesus claimed to be God. I believe Jesus never said he claimed to be God. Sorry? I, if you are upset, no, you she know, asked. Uh, it doesn't really equate to the Bible. It's kind of like everything. Like, it was done so long ago. It's passed through so many hands. Why do you think that the one that you have in your hand right now is legit Excellent. and hasn't been changed? Yeah, she's For example, she is asking a very good question. Um, I do night shifts, right? 12 hours. It kills me. Like, it is so long. And by the end of it, my brain's a little fuzzy, like a bit sort of, yeah. Just think of like a monk in a monastery. He's, they don't have electricity, so it's always by like, daylight and they've got a candle light. He's translating, you know, stuff. He may or may not speak that, but he's just either translating or copying it down anyway. Like, there's a stack. Light. Of Moses that has horns. I don't know. Because it's got horns, because someone translated one word wrong. Instead of like holy light or something in Latin. Yeah. So if someone can do that, why do you think the one that you hold in your hand is. That's a good question. Yeah. You know? They can't get it as well. That's kind of just what I don't get about it. You know, we are Muslims, most of us here, and we believe the Bible has been distorted. This was the Quran claim. Yeah, but hasn't everything kind of been distorted? Not everything. How do you know that? Okay. That's a fair question. That's yes, fair question. And, and we have the answer in the Quran as well. The Quran is described as Muhaymin in the previous scripture. Muhaymin means what? That in the Quran, if something disagrees with the Quran, we are to believe it is corruption. If it agrees, then it's not corruption. This is what we are told, at least from our position. I think it means in reference to the Bible. So if, if we if we say the Bible is corrupted, for example, yeah, yeah. how it would be a normal question for you, you know, how do you But how about the Quran itself? Yeah. How about everything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true. You can, so you can examine the Quran. You can examine each book on its own merit. Yeah, but do any of them really have merit? Yes, they like, do. Just because like 
I can tell you about the Quran. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. You're saying how do you go back, right, and check, correct? Yeah. Now, the thing is, with the Bible, probably, maybe, you've had a discussion with many Christians and you've realized that, oh, okay, well, you've heard that it's quite hard to go back or something, you know? I mean, obviously, you have a doubt about it, am I correct? But wouldn't it just be, I have a doubt about everything, but wouldn't it just be like, common sense that it's hard to go back? Yes. If you didn't have the records, you are correct. Yeah, yeah. You're correct. If you know your history, You'd be correct, there's a lot of war that happened, a lot of things got wiped out. But if you check with the Muslims, and that is a thing you should do, and ask them that, oh Muslims, what history do you have and how can you prove that your book is authentic? Is it a fair question? Yeah. yeah. Now, if you ask the Muslim that, you'll realize that we actually preserved our sources. Yeah, right from the beginning. Yeah. So you see the Bible is older than the Quran, and the Old Testament is older than the Bible and the New Testament. Yeah? Yeah. The, out of those books, the most recent, the most recent of them, yeah, is the Quran, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're the most, we're the closest to 2017 technically, correct? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have our sources, but and this gentleman right here... I wouldn't say it's really close. <laughs> ah, yes, but you see, if, you, if, you, if someone who knows their history, like, like Brother Mansour knows his sources, he knows where, what, what things have been preserved, and that's the person you should ask, that, look, what proof do you have? Where are the manuscripts, okay. sir? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good to know. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very genuine question about authenticity of the text that we're supposed to believe, which is divinely revealed. It's, it's, it's common sense tells us we weren't there during the time of any of those prophets. Were you there? I wasn't there. Certainly not. So how do we rely on a text that has been given to us through transmission by people? So. How can we be sure that nothing has been changed from the original message if indeed it was from God to begin with? Because there's two questions. One, during the initial stage of that transmission of that text, whether it's the Bible or the Quran or Bhagavad Gita of the Hindus or the Vedas or Pali text of the Buddhists, whatever that text was, first question is, was it revealed or inspired by God? Number one. Secondly, the transmission to us over hundreds of years later, or if not thousands of years later, has it remained intact to give us the confidence that we can be sure that the text that we're reading is the text that was given. So if that text was initially understood and verified to be the words of God or revelation from God, guidance from God, and it has remained exactly intact, unadulterated, then at least, no, if we can establish that, that this text that we read today, say the Quran, if it's exactly how it was then, then we can say now, okay, fine. At least we can then assess its claim, whether it's from God or not, because now we are sure that it has been transmitted to us in a preserved form. It still doesn't prove to us it's from God. What it does, it just shows the transmission has not suffered corruption. We can do that with the Quran. You can establish without a shadow of doubt the Quran has been transmitted with this meticulous care to the letters, dots and sounds because it, it was transmitted in two main ways. Not only in writing, people writing in manuscripts, for example, but it was transmitted through memorization of the text. And what I mean by memorization, it is not like people think Chinese whispers. We are talking about a Quran given over a period of 23 years, memorized bit by bit by various people, but eventually they memorize it all. I mean, every member of most Muslim families, you'll find one who has memorized the whole of the book. And they're not even Arabs. They don't even speak a word of Arabic. Yeah, you'll find them. They have memorized every single word and letter, the sounds of this book from beginning to end. And I request you to visit one of the mosques in a week's time, because Ramadan is in a week's time, okay? In this month, as a practice that happens in Muslim world, you will see the Quran is recited from memory in this night prayer, as well as other times, but in the night prayer, now will be like about 10 o'clock at night, right? Regent's Park Mosque is open. You can go there as a visitor and you can sit down and, and, and watch. And you will see the Quran is recited from beginning to end in this period of 27 days or something. Well, you said absolutely right, I agree. But we are living in a time where the human brain has shrunk to the size of a pea. At the time, something was mentioned once and it was memorized. 
people knew the heritage of their animals, not only their own family. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting point. What, what you are taking is through inhalation. Let me, let me just yeah, let's, let's get the um, sister in, right? Listen, listen. It's important for the brothers to strengthen the full strength of the sisters. The brothers need to strengthen. Thank you, brother. I don't know. She's not She's not What does she want? Okay, brother. Brother, we've been trying to talk to her, but that's fine. Thank you. It's okay. You know, very good. Very good. Can you finish this? Are you Muslim? Alhamdulillah. That's good, brother. That's what I'm saying. We're trying to, but she's not Muslim, though, brother. Like, she's not Muslim. Though. So we're trying to do dawah to her, you know? She's got the shoes. 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 She's got the sho